Hello everybody, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. I hope you all had a wonderful break. I took a few days off as well, which is why I didn't post any videos, but I did buy these specifically for a Christmas video and didn't end up doing any videos, so I'm wearing them now because I don't want the pound that I spent on them to go to waste. And we're gonna kick off 2023 with a little look at a couple of the new functions in Excel. A few months ago, Microsoft released a whole set of new functions that we can use to help us manipulate text in different ways. And we're gonna take a look at a couple of them in this lesson, specifically VStack and HStack. Now it is worth pointing out that these are only available in Excel for Microsoft 365. So if you have one of the older versions, so maybe 2016 or 2013, then you're not going to have these. So now that housekeeping's out of the way, let's dive in. So what exactly is VStack and HStack and how can they help us? Well, VStack stands for vertical stack and HStack stands for horizontal stack. And what can they do? Well, let's start out with VStack. What VStack allows us to do is basically take data and stack it on top of each other, which can be really useful. And because it is a function, we can combine it with other functions to make it even more powerful. So enough of me talking, let's dive straight into an example. Now you can see on the screen here, I have just a little bit of data. We have, let's say some sales figures for different regions, Asia, Europe, North America, and Australia. And maybe I simply want to output all of the regions in a global sales table, i.e. I don't necessarily need to have them broken down by region. So before these functions were released, what we would generally do to do that is we would take this first group, control C to copy, control V to paste, take the second group, control C, control V, so on and so forth. So that is quite a manual process. Let's undo to come out of there and let's take a look at how we can do this using VStack. So we're simply going to type in equals VStack and the only arguments we have here are the arrays that we want to stack on top of each other. And remember in this context arrays are just a fancy way of saying ranges of cells. So all we need to do is provide the first array which is going to be at Asia sales A4 to B7 comma second array is this range just here comma third array is this range just here and the last array is this range we can close off our bracket hit enter and like magic we have all of that data stacked on top of each other super useful now as you might imagine h stack works in a similar way except we're arranging horizontally as opposed to vertically so i've got a slightly different setup below and we would do this in the same way. We can simply type in H stack and we just need to select our arrays again. So I'm gonna go for this one, comma, this one, this one, and finally Australia. Close the bracket, hit enter, and we now have that organized horizontally. So in its most basic form, V stack, so in its most basic form, V stack and H stack just stack data on top of each other. Now in that example, we were working with data that was on the same worksheet, but we can also use these functions to stack our data that's across different worksheets. So let's take a look at an example of that, and I'm gonna show you how you can combine it with a couple of other formulas to make it a little bit more powerful. Now if we go across, I've got a movie sheet here, currently doesn't have anything on it. We then have a movies English tab, a movies German tab and a movies Spanish tab. As you might have guessed, these are different movies from Netflix divided down by language. And what I effectively want to do is create just a big long list of all of these movies regardless of what language they're in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the column headings here, control C, and we're going to paste these over here, control V. Now there are a couple of different ways I could do this. I could type in VStack and then simply go to Movies English and select the range, Control Shift, right arrow, down arrow to select everything. Look up in the formula bar now, because that's where we're working, comma. I could then move to the next tab and do exactly the same. So Control Shift, right arrow, down arrow to select everything, comma. Move across to the next tab. Again, Control Shift, right and down. And then we can close the bracket, hit Enter, and it's going to stack all of those on top of each other from across the different worksheets. So that is one way that we could do this. 
Let me show you another way. I'm going to delete out our VStack formula because what we could do is employ 3D referencing. So this is very similar when we want to maybe sum data across different worksheets. So what I can do here is I can type in VStack. Now this time, instead of selecting the individual arrays, I'm going to select the worksheets that include the array. So let's click on Movies English. Again, take a look up in the formula bar, and then I can hold down Shift and select Movies Spanish. So it's basically going to include all of the worksheets in between those two. I can then select the cell range, the array that I want to return. Now the problem that I have here is that my data isn't consistent across all of these worksheets. Some data sets are longer than others. So for this, to make sure I catch everything, I want to make sure I use the cell range that is the longest. So for me, that is the movies English. I'm going to select the cell range, right arrow, down arrow, close the bracket and hit enter. And it basically returns everything from those worksheets included in that cell range. Now we have a couple of other issues here. Notice I have some green triangles here. And if I scroll down, I have zeros for some of these. Remember, because we selected the longest cell range, it's going to select that on every single worksheet. So for the German movies, we only have a few of those. So the rest of those cells are showing as zeros because they're effectively blank. So how can we get rid of these zeros, first of all? Well, this is where we can combine it with the filter function. So we're going to type in filter. Our array is our VStack, but what we're going to do is we're going to copy this because our next argument is what we want to include. Let's paste what we want to include, and I'm going to change this cell reference. So where we have B4 to D8, we're going to change this to B78. So it's going to look in that first column for anything that is equal to blank or zero in this case. Let's close the bracket hit enter, and now if we scroll down, we should find that all of those zeros have been eliminated. Cool stuff. The final thing to deal with here is just these green triangles. This is basically just telling me that the formula refers to empty cells, which it actually does because of that cell range we've selected. So what I can do to get rid of these is control A to select everything, click on the warning triangle and say ignore error, and I have a perfectly stacked list. And the cool thing about this is that because it's a dynamic formula, everything is dynamic. So if we update anything on any of these spreadsheets, it's going to automatically add it in. For example, if I go to Movies German, and I'm just going to add test in here, like so. And then if we go back to our Movies list and go down to the German section, you can see there it's automatically added it in. So that is a quick run through of the new VStack and HStack formulas in Excel. Have a little play around with them. They can be super useful. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Smash that like button, subscribe, like, follow, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next one.